we interview a woman who used her BCC education as a springboard to come back to the college, and she now serves as an administrator. Hi, I'm Tara Romanovich, class of 1971. I had a wonderful experience at BCC. I was pretty involved. I was on the student senate. I was very involved because I was a work-study student, so I was working in the office and, as I said, helping to kind of build the campus. It was pretty new, and we knew the faculty on a very personal basis because a lot of them were involved in either the student senate or some of the clubs. I worked in student activities, so I was involved in a lot of the activities and met a lot of the staff, and I can't say anything but praise for all of the people who really took the time out to really guide me and guide a lot of people who were really unsure of who they wanted to be when they grew up. And it was kind of a nurturing environment, but it was also a very empowering environment because it was a place where people allowed you to help them define what they were doing. So I think it was a really interesting time to be part of BCC because they were sort of defining who they were mm -hmm. as a college. and. As a student, I was able to help do that. My major at Bristol Community College was child care, and at the time I wasn't sure if I wanted to go on, but because I enjoyed working with that in that field so much and the faculty members who worked with me were so encouraging in terms of going on and special education was just starting to find its own, which was the area that I was interested in. So I was very much encouraged by faculty and staff to continue my education right away, which I did. I left Bristol Community College and went to UMass Amherst where I got a degree in um, elementary education and special and a focus on special education. And I was probably one of the pioneers who graduated from the child care program, which was actually designed as a career program, and had the chance to take all of those credits with me. So I really had to work both on the university level and with the college here to sort of assure that the courses that I had taken were actually of the same value and level that they were taking courses at UMass. So I actually didn't lose any credits, which was really admirable for me and for BCC to have, you know, created that kind of a pathway even back then for career programs. After I graduated from the University of Massachusetts, I got a job in the Fall River School Department and worked there for three years teaching special ed and then um, came actually back to Bristol Community College as an employee and started working here under some grants that were working with uh, teaching reading to special needs thing. Uh, individuals and then I felt the need to actually go back and get my master's. So I decided to go back to Bridgewater State College and get um, a master's in administration. I went back to school and got an advanced degree from Harvard um, University and decided to really pursue changing careers into management and doing more um, of the administrative level. And while I was doing that, I was actually hired to work as the Director of Academic Advisement at Bristol Community College, and I worked there for about five years. And then moved over to financial aid and did the Director of Financial Aid for about five, six years there, and then um, left financial aid because I had the opportunity to work at the state office with all 15 community colleges. So I left and worked at the state college for um, the state executive office of community colleges where I did capacity building for all 15 community colleges and it was really an exciting job. It was an opportunity to really see what different community colleges were doing, not just Bristol, and also to build capacity because I just feel like community colleges are so underutilized and we're so busy doing that we forget to brag about what we do and we forget to grow to the level that we really have the ability to do sometimes because we're such worker bees. And um, working on the state level gave me the opportunity to really work with other state agencies like the Department of Transitional Assistance, the Department of Apprenticeship Training, Department of Labor, um, and doing some statewide building of different programs so that there were system approaches to issues. I had been working at the state level for about seven years and um, had always had, my heart has always been at Bristol Community College and they were opening up the New Bedford campus and a couple of people called me and asked me if I might be interested in throwing an application in. And I thought very long and hard about it because I really did enjoy my job at the state level and that kind of capacity building. but. BCC being near and dear to my heart, I decided to apply and was uh, given this position and came back uh, in September of 2001 to open up this campus. Operating the campus has been such a joy and a lot of pain. 
it's been um, growing pains as with everything else. We started out with about 400 students and we now have 1,600 students and we have brought in uh, millions of dollars worth of grant as well. And so it's really been a phenomenal opportunity to be invested in a community like New Bedford that never really had a higher education commitment to it and to be able to work with employers and community agencies to sort of say, wow, we, we, Bristol Community College, can really make a difference in their lives. So I've been really involved in the downtown New Bedford uh, Board of Directors. I've been involved with the WIB, with the Chamber of Commerce, and a lot of other workforce and efforts to sort of see where BCC can grow and the impact it can have. I met my husband, Bob Karen, who also teaches and works at Bristol Community College and has spent uh, the majority of his career here um, at a BCC event years and years ago and um, that's been a great relationship. We spent a long time just sort of living and enjoying our lives and then um, decided before it was too late <laughs> to have a child and I have a beautiful daughter, Michaela, who is a senior at Stang now and has just um, been the joy of our lives. It's one of those things that you sort of think you can live without and then mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's made a world of difference in who we are. I owe a lot to that, to BCC for having opened my eyes up to a world beyond my little world. And um, I think also the confidence that it gave me to be able to think about myself as someone who could move forward. And as an employee, I think it's really been staggering to see the impact that I've had on others' lives and the impact that that has had on the community. And uh, every day I hear students come in here and say thank you to either myself or my staff uh, for making their life a better place. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I think it just feels really good to be able to give back to a place that really helped your life start on its road and its journey. So it's been a powerful journey for me, both from a student perspective and from an employee.